Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka Kodash, which is the true names of the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who the world ignorantly called God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. Double honor to my apostles, elders, and great millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings to the house of Israel, the brothers that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity, and the believers and followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah throughout the four corners of the earth, the confusion of faces, all right, the hopeful elect. This is a response to GMS smartphone conversation, just a little example of faith. And this is a lesson done by Apostle Gabar, which sparked my spirit. Brothers should check it out. Now, this discourse, this lesson, is going to cover three scriptures. All right. This is Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay, this is Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. Okay. And the last one, Luke chapter three, verse eight. Bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of repentance. Now, these three scriptures, the example that I'm about to show you brothers, these three scriptures came to life in. Songs 1, 10, and 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Romans 10 and 17, so faith cometh by hearing. And Luke 3 and 8, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. Now, let's show the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and how this truth is only for them that is worthy of repentance, which is the house of the elect. Now, this is the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 25. This is the account. Now, when you read earlier in the chapter, Paul and Silas was teaching in a certain city and there was a, a woman that had demons on her that had unclean spirits on her because she was a soothsayer and Paul rebuked the demons off of her just because well it was all through the spirit but just because she was nagging him and uh, 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 shouting out that they was uh, men of the Lord. So they got thrown into prison. You can read the account for yourselves earlier in the chapter. But now I'm going to get the point of where these three scriptures tie in. And I, this is Acts 16 and 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang and praised unto the Most High. And the prisoners heard them. Now, they was praising and singing unto the Most High because guess what? They suffered for righteousness' sake. They wasn't defending their own name. They wasn't suffering for actions that showed their glory or their power. They suffered for the name of the Lord's sake, for simply believing in Hamashiach Yahawashai which is the true name of the Son of the Most High, who the word eagerly called Jesus Christ. Okay? So they was praising and singing in the prison because they, was su because they suffered for righteousness' sake. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. 
So now, the prison that Paul and Silas was in, all the doors broke open. All the, the shackles that was on them came loose. Because guess what? The scriptures say, Psalms 34 and 17, the angels encampeth around them that fear the Lord. And the scriptures also say, who is, who is he that can harm you if you be followers of that which is good? So though they was persecuted and though they was beaten, guess what? The Lord had mercy among them. Okay? So now let's read on. Let's see why this happened. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep. And seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. Because this is a whole prison, all right, a whole prison house. And he would have suffered worse if the, 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 the magistrates or the heads of the of prison of the city would have found out that Paul and Silas uh, uh, broke out and arrested the prisoners. They probably would have had him hung, crucified, you know, stoned to death. So he would, he would prefer to kill himself. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. So the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushua had mercy upon this man. Because Paul could have just let the dude kill himself. You know? But the scriptures speak about, um, you know, the righteous regarding um, life over death. Okay? Especially when a man did no wrong. Because the scriptures say, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong that he did. But if a man does no wrong, you know, harm shouldn't come his way. The Most High is a just power. Read it on. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. So this was the prison uh, guard that was watching him and brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? <laughs> this goes into, this ties into Songs 110 and 3. The people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Now, this is not any power that we could work out to get. This is not a power you could read a thousand books to get. This is the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Paul didn't cause that earthquake physically. Silas didn't cause that earthquake physically. The Lord did that. To show that those are righteous men. To show that those are the men of the Lord. That's why the scriptures say in 2nd Ezra chapter 16 verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Paul and Silas was tried as gold in the fire. Because they was persecuted. And beaten for simply casting a demon, an unclean spirit out of a woman. Okay? So this man, um, this prison guard, knew that Paul and Silas was men of the Lord because the Most High sent the earthquake to the prison. Which all the prisoners could have escaped. But guess what? They didn't. And they said, believe on the Lord. Oh, in verse 30, and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? So once he saw the power, and that's exactly what's going to happen in these times. Once they see the power, Akim, the multitudes are going to be flocking. And this is happening on a small scale now because... The elect is seeing the prophecies. And who is causing the prophecies 
to manifest Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Who is bringing the plagues and the judgment and the earthquakes and the roars and, and, and the tempests and the storms? Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. So on a small scale, the elect is coming in because they see the power. But when he manifested through his men, even more waves of brothers and believers are going to come in throughout the four corners of the earth. Wondering how the hell, <laughs> what do I got to do to be saved, man? How am I going to escape these calamities that's falling upon the earth? So it says, and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And that ties in to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. So now going back to Acts 16 and 25, let's see how Paul and Silas answered him. Forgive me. And verse 30, and, and brought them out. It says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So this is the prison guard. All right? And that's exactly what's going to happen in that time. Because we're going to give glory to our power. We ain't going to be boasting, yeah, don't fuck with us, yeah, 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 all that. Nah, we're going to give glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And this goes to show, too, that a man is the head of the household. So if he will be saved, if, this, if, it's, the, if it's the Lord's will, your house will be saved or is covered by your faith, by your salvation. Okay? And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in the house. So that whole prison house that Paul and Silas was in, guess what? They came to them because they was fruit worthy of repentance. That's where this scripture ties in also. All right? They're fruit worthy of repentance. They seen the power. They seen what happened. They could have broke the hell out of jail. But guess what? They stood in prison so they can hear the words of salvation, the words of eternal life, the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. So it says, and they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in the house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized. So the prison, you know, cleaned them up. Showing you how fucked up the magistrates was. Because they just beat them and left their wounds to be bloody and get infected. But the prisoner, uh, 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 the, the watchman, the prison guard, cleaned them up. And he, he and all the straight way. So all the prisoners that came to Paul and Silas, they was baptized too. And when he had brought them into his house... He set meat before them and rejoiced, believing in the Most High with all his house. So not only <laughs> the prison guard took Paul and Silas to his home, so they all could hear the word of the Lord. And guess what? The rest of the household believe, you know, because... That's some shit, you know, your, your husband, your father, your uncle come home like, yo, this uh, earthquake happened in the prison and all the prison bars got, I mean, all the prisoners got loose, but nobody ran away, you know, and, and it's because of these men, you know, that that's some shit. And this man is more fortunate because <laughs> the time period we living in, our women don't fucking believe, you know, but read it on. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the Sahijin saying, let those men go. All right, but pretty much that's the point. That is the point right there. So these three scriptures came to life in that act. 
which when you look into it, when you look into the scriptures and you know it got subjects of the Bible, it's called, um, give me one second, which I'm going to name this video. The jailer is converted and baptized. But um, with that, I pray you was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash, for giving me the spirit for doing this lesson. Until next time, I say Shalom.